Hey guys, what's up? This is Sparks, and I'm going to be showing you guys how to install the Soka Band mod. And if you guys actually don't know what this is, um, there will be a link in the description, so it will take you right to the website here. Um, so you guys can learn a little bit about the actual mod, um, the crafting recipes, that kind of thing. Um, but if you guys actually want to know about what's in the mod, the, all the kind of different puzzles, um, the Diamond Minecart here has done a very excellent uh, mod review of that. So you guys click on that. It will be in the description, so you guys can learn about what this actually is. Um, but anyway, I'm going to actually show you guys how to install this for your guys' Uh, for you guys is Minecraft, um, so you guys click on the link in the description that says the Soko Band uh, mod. This will be the actual form page. So if you just scroll down here, after all of these pictures, um, you're gonna see this download and instructions link right here. So you click on show. Um, you're gonna see this downloads right here. You're always gonna want to make sure you do download the very top version, and you're gonna want to make sure you guys down uh, save that on your desktop just like that. Um, again, um, another mod that you guys are actually going to need is Minecraft Forge. Um, so you guys click on the link in the description for Minecraft Forge. Um, you guys only want to make sure you guys download the very top version. And you guys want to make sure that you download the universal version. So make sure you guys save that on your desktop just like that. Um, another mod that I'm going to show you guys how to install is Optifine. Optifine is actually not required for this mod, but it is a really great mod to help you guys out with Minecraft lag. So if you guys have issues with that, I'll show you guys how to install it now. Um, so once you guys have all those things downloaded on your desktop, ju on your desktop just like that, um, what I'm going to ask you guys to do is go into Minecraft. Um, mi when Minecraft is open, go to Options, Force Update, click Done, and Log In. Now, the reason why I'm force updating my game is because I actually don't know if you guys have mods installed, and I don't know if those mods are actually compatible with the Soko Ban or Forge. Um, so make sure you guys force update. If you guys don't like force updating, there will be a video in the description that will say um, how to back up and save your Minecraft. So I always do recommend backing up and saving your Minecraft, and if you guys don't know how to do that, um, just a few like very helpful Minecraft tips I show you guys in that video. Um, so always make sure you force update or back up and save your Minecraft. Um, so once that is done, click X. Always make sure Minecraft is closed when installing mods. So once you guys have those on your desktop just like that and you've first updated your Minecraft game, um, what you guys are going to want to do next is you're going to see this percent after percent here. Um, so you're going to click on that start and you're going to see this um, right here. You're going to want to type in percent a p p d a t a. That's percent app data and another percent. And you're going to see this roaming folder right here. So you click on that roaming folder, you're going to see this Minecraft folder in the very top here. So if you click on that Minecraft folder, this is where you see bin, resources, and save. So if you click on that bin folder, um, you're going to see this Minecraft folder here. Now if you try to open it, it's not going to let you. So if you push OK, um, you right click on this Minecraft and open this with WinRAR, you are able to open it. Now you can use 7-zip or any other kind of file opener like that, but I'll show you guys how to use WinRAR. Um, if you guys don't already have WinRAR installed, there will be a link in the description so you guys can download and install it from there. Um, so once you guys have Minecraft.jar open with WinRAR, you're going to see this MetaInf folder right here. You're going to want to right click on that MetaInf and you're going to want to delete these files and push yes. Always make sure you guys delete that MetaInf or it will not work, you will get a black screen. So make sure you have done that. Um, now what you're going to want to do next is you're going to open the Minecraft Forge Universal and you're going to want to move this aside. You are also going to see a meta imp folder here, but you're going to want to leave that there because that is actually part of Forge. So make sure you leave that there. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to right click, and select all, and you're going to drag all these files right into the Minecraft.jar that you opened with WinR. And once that's done, push OK, and you guys can close Minecraft Forge Universal. So you guys can close that. Um, Again, I'm going to show you guys how to install Optifine, but it's not actually required for this mod. It's just a really great mod to install. So if you ri open that, right-click, select all, and drag all these files right into the Minecraft.jar that you open with WinR, push OK, and you guys are actually done with Optifine, so you can close that. And you guys are also done with the Minecraft.jar that you open with WinR, so you guys can close that. Um, now what you're going to want to be is where you open the Minecraft uh, Minecraft of Dart Jar originally, so click back one, and this is where you see bin, resources, and saves here. Um, now, if you guys are actually lost, you don't know where I'm at, or you accidentally clicked out of this, um, how we got to this was with percent after percent, then we went to the roaming folder, and then we went to the Minecraft folder, and this is where you see bin, resources, and saves. Now, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to cr uh, create a new folder, and you want to call this folder MODS, all under caps, mods folder, push enter, and you want to open this mods folder, make sure that folder is empty. And you're going to want to drag the Sokoban mod right into the mods folder. And you guys are completely done with the installation. You guys are ready to play the Sokoban mod. Uh, you guys are ready to play all those puzzles, those awesome kind of things in Minecraft. So yeah, it's a very uh, awesome mod. I really, it was, a, I, I played it myself. It was pretty fun to play. So again, I hope this video helped you guys out. Um, I, if you guys are getting black screen, make sure you guys just force update and follow this video exactly like I showed you. Um, you know, if you guys, uh, if you guys don't like force updating, you guys don't like kind of things, 
make sure you just back up and save your Minecraft. I always recommend that. That's always a very helpful thing and always a very smart thing to do with your Minecraft. So, uh, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Um, make sure you guys give this video a like. It always helps. Um, if you guys actually want to be a part of the Blaze Army, make sure you guys subscribe. That's always pretty awesome. I really like new subscribers. Um, so, yeah, I do a lot of my reviews and a lot of my installs on my channel. Um, so, you guys can always feel free to check those things out. Those are always pretty awesome things to see. So, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching.